Yo, what up? Welcome in. I'm coming at you with 250 pit runs. Roll that intro. So welcome in. I am Sweet Phil, and this is 250 pit runs. Thank you for coming and checking my video. Real quick, I got to do the same thing every YouTuber's got to do. Click that like button. And hopefully subscribe help my channel out a lot. With that being said, I'll go ahead and get into the gear and the statistics that you need to know about what I had set up to do these runs. Alright, right here I'll go over the gear I used while I was doing these runs. So I got my Isted Oculus, which I've been using uh, forever now. I uh, got a perfect Topaz Shaco for the Magic Find and all that stuff. 35 FCR Spirit Monarch. Uh, 48 MF War Travelers. These 38 Magic Find uh, Chance Guard Gloves. Uh, Faster cast rate ring here with some magic finds. That's pretty cool. Uh, here's one with just with strength and life and a you know the faster cast rate arachnids mesh. Uh, I got this caster amulet two to lightning because I do use lightning skill with magic find, so I, that's not too bad either. And I got this enigma which I made in the previous video when I did the lower cross run. So I can link to that up in a card for you guys. If you look over here at uh, you know the stats that I got going on. For my magic find, 443% magic find there. I got 123 uh, faster cast rate. I wanted to get it the 117, so I ended up with uh, 123. Um, hit recovery, 60, uh, because 60 is a break point for faster hit recovery. You got 55 on the spirit, and then one of these, this one right here, faster hit recovery with fire. So I got all lightning skillers and a geeds. I got this Annie charm and... I got this Hellfire Torch 20, 320 20. Nice. I have ever only farmed three torches, and this was the third one I found, and I stopped right there. So that's pretty sweet. I got some 7% Magic Find Small Charms along the bottom here. And then apparently this one on accident. I don't need that one. I wonder how long that's been there for. <laughs> it's supposed to be another Magic Find Small Charm, but oh well. So I farmed these on player 7 because I didn't really think I had much of a problem killing stuff except for like lightning enchanted archers and you know those would take a second sometimes I would just skip them but uh, alright there you go with that being said let's get into these drops. So we'll get the drop highlights on this 250 pit runs episode started off here at run number 7. Uh, it's nothing too GG, but I find two items at the same time almost that are both semi-useful here. I got an e-buggable diamond mail base, and I also have a set item kraken shell, which is Mavina's Embrace. Coming back with the next noteworthy drop here just two runs later, a unique Eaton Axe which after identified here you'll see it is a rune master unfortunately it only rolls with the four open sockets you can roll up to five so next year we're coming at run 12 and this year's where I get a little bit excited I get a unique legendary mallet after slowly killing this uh, light and enchanted archer but she does indeed drop the legendary mallet which can roll a Schaefer's Hammer, but of course, like everyone, I get the Stone Crusher. And on the very next run, I find another very, very rare unique here. I almost didn't see it at first. You'll see me run over and crab like potions, and then I'm like, oh, what's this? A Hydra Bow unique over here. So it's another Wind Force. I found one on a project prior to this one. I uh, really wish I would get the luck getting the griffins I'm looking for, but I guess I'll take another wind force. We'll come right back in here at run number 17. Uh, I see a unique ring drop. Hoping to still find my first SOJ. Haven't found one yet. Crazy enough. But I'll go ahead and ID it after picking up all his potion and monies. And it is the carrying wind. Here we come back in at run 31, and I'm running this at player 7, and here's exactly why I'm running at player 7. 
Uh, here I drop an Ohm rune, and with the higher players count, obviously you have a better chance of dropping high runes. Now it runs 45, it's another one of them cases of me finding two kind of cool items at the same time. I couldn't even tell what I was shooting, I was just launching lightning bolts off into the, you know, the ether. And I find a set item, shadow plate, and the set item, Avenger Guard. So this is the Ike Helm, and the shadow plate is Alder's Armor. Next drop highlight here is at run 52, just seven runs later, we find a unique demon hide sash, and this is indeed the string of ears, uh, but it does actually roll terribly with only 10 damage reduction, can roll up to 15. Next noteworthy drop here is at run 88, it's been several, several runs since I found anything useful, but here I get a unique winged axe, and this is indeed the lacerator. I actually found this in Ethereal already, which is awesome since it has a punished quantity, but this is still a cool find. So now we're jumping all the way to run 109, so I've gone through a little bit of a dry streak here. But uh, now I got these heavy bracers, unique, and they are Ghoulhide. Uh, Semi-rare, another one of the semi-rare items, but not particularly useful for most builds. Now we're coming at run 110, and this is going to be a big reason, big smack in the face exactly why I am running this at player 7. Uh, I didn't even see it drop, there was a carver up here that died, so just a little carver, and boom, he drops me a cham rune. It is a very, very, very rare drop, and uh, pleasant surprise down here in the pits. Now here two runs later at run 112, I popped a super chest, pull out a grand charm, and it is a useful skiller, elemental skills for the druid. Hit me here with another drop at run 120, it is unique Templar's coat, and that is the guardian angel. It is a noteworthy item because it has 15 to max resistances, and that is to each and every resistance, so you can get your resistance boost up to 90%. It is useful on your mercenary when you're fighting in places like Trevinkle where they have a lot of elemental damage. The next noteworthy drop here is at run 136 and I find an item that I find in essentially every single project that I do, usually more than one, but it is a unique grand charm and the only thing that could be is Geed's Fortune. And I'm coming in here with a little mid rune drop at run 146. Down here in the second level of the pits, and I find myself a pull rune. Go through a little dry spell here, don't find much for about 40 runs, so I'm jumping in with some mid ranged montage here. Here we got Raven's Charge. Here now I have a Talrash's uh, Orb. Here I got Immortal King's Boots. Another Tarash's orb here at run 177. And now a gold wrap. Back to the GG drops. And here at run 185, I follow up those Tarash's orbs with another piece from the Tarash's set. It is a set item lacquered plate. Once I idea it, you'll see it is Tarash's guardian ship. Here I'm coming back at run 187. I left this little clip a tad bit longer because it is a pretty rare item. First one of, that I have found. It is a unique Scourge. I'll kill these people and then I'll get up to town to ID this. After IDing it, we see that it is Horizon's Tornado. run 188 here, the very next run, I find a reasonable uh, mid rune here, another treasure found from this super chest. 
I did also pull a small charm out of that chest. Let's go ahead and ID it here. Can I get two GG items in a row? Uh, not this time, but I still got this useful goal. Here we are, run 192. I get a unique jewel, and obviously that's going to be a facet. Pick it up, and I'll ID it here. And it is going to be a 5-4 cold facet. Here at run 194, I pop the super chest, get a small charm out. This time it does end up being something good. And the treasure I find from this chest is another 20 to life small charm. This is once again at run 194. I find another useful item in this run, a unique Tierra, which is Kiara's Guardian. And this one rolls 68 to all res, which is significantly better than the other one that I found back in the day. And this run was apparently blessed from the beginning because I find another useful item. I drop a Grand Charm here, pick that up, and it's not the best skill, but it is a life skiller, so it's 1 to War Cries, 25 to life. Run 200 here brings me the next noteworthy item off of this carver, the set item Mythic Sword and it is one of the two swords from the Bull Cathos set. So after that BK sword we'll continue on with the run and one of the very next monsters that I kill drops a set item winged helm and that does actually roll as a G face. It's not the rarest item but it is like a mid-level item for mercenaries because the crushing blow on it adds a ton of damage for that mercenary. Run 215 brings me a very rare drop actually, but it is not the most useful item. It is a unique Zacharum shield, which is not actually the Zac shield, but the actual unique Zacharum shield rolls as Dragon Scale. Uh, the, the actual Zac shield, the Gilded shield, actually is still better than this, but it is a very rare find. Run 219 brings me a unique staff, and if you're thinking, oh, this staff must be something for, like, a sorceress, this staff is actually very good for Fury Druids. It is the Rib Cracker, and it has a bunch of increased attack speed, faster hit recovery, and most importantly, 50% crushing blow, which adds a ton of damage. I get a repeat drop here at run 225, it is a unique Tempest Coat, and if you do remember, this rolls as a Guardian Angel, and it is noteworthy for its 15 to max res, and that is for each resistance. A few runs later here at run 233, we drop a unique Grim Helm, which Everyone probably should know, this is the Vampire's Gaze. Noteworthy for its dual leech and damage reduction. Just three runs shy of finishing up this project at run 247, and a mid rune drops for me. It is the always welcome to see Mal rune. And we're here now still at run 247, and this is another one of those cool drops where you find two useful things at the same time. I got this S Sacred Armor, which is going to be a very high defense e bug base. Hopefully it rolls good for me in the future. Wish me luck. And I find a unique ring. Is this SOJ I've been looking for for a long time too? It is not, but it is a nature's piece. Here, once again, on the last run of my project run, 250. 
I'm thinking I'm just going to get this over with and wrap this up, but they can't stop dropping good items for me. Down in the pits is a set item, Scissored Zuahia. I pronounced it good enough, and that is Natalia's Mark. Well, there you have it, YouTube. 250 pit runs. So I found another win for us. Wish I was happier about it, but I really wanted that RNG to be used to find what I am really looking for, a Griffin's. Next project, hopefully I'll find one. I found a Cham Rune. That was a pleasant shock. Uh, and I found so much other stuff I had to cut out of the video because I didn't want it to be too long, whether it's stuff like String of Ears and uh, all, all the kinds of different set stuff. I found the entire Immortal King set, uh, except for the armor. Tal Rasha's set, found everything except the amulet, a bunch of Mavs, Natalia's stuff, a bunch of the mid-level uniques I had to cut out, gold wraps and chance guards that rolled low and stuff like that. So all kinds of stuff found in the pits, but uh, with all that being said, go ahead and click them like and subscribe buttons. Help me out a bunch. Uh, get me moving a little here more on YouTube. And uh, with that being said, peace out. I'll catch you in the next video.